What's good guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be connecting this phone to this 1600 amp ACB. Let's run the intro and get into this video. Firstly, you might be wondering, why am I doing this? Why am I trying to connect my phone to this ACB? Well, the first reason is that it's pretty cool, to be honest with you, it's cool that you can do that, and I wanna show that, and I wanna show this kit off. This isn't sponsored or anything, but I think it's really cool. I think all of Schneider's stuff's pretty cool. We need to do some power quality analyzing here at the building. The land, the electrical landscape of the building's changing quite a lot. There's lots of new supplies being added, things being changed, so we need to look at current demand, we need to look at the power factor of the place, all sorts. So we're actually gonna be connecting a data logger onto this panel, monitoring it for a week or two, getting a load of data so that we can then have as much information as possible. That will involve hopefully isolating this panel, but if not, doing it live. So we're gonna get geared up and that will be a whole separate video if that goes forward. But for now, I'm just trying to get as much information as possible from the built-in power quality analyzer in that switch, but also this Rayleigh meter up top as well, because there is a bit of information there, which is super handy. I just wanna get some initial sort of findings before we go fully in with the data logger. And also it's really, really cool. So this 1600 amp master packed ACB serves this panel, which does tenants and landlord supplies throughout the whole building. There's a lot going on. And this has a built-in, well, it has a MicroLogic module, which sort of slots into this, into this ACB. And this one has a built-in PQA, and you can connect your phone to it. You can't connect it to the network, as far as I believe. So you are sort of only able to access it once you, when you're tethered, when you're here. It's still really, really cool, really, really smart. And there's loads of cool features on there that we'll get into. There's also these Rayleigh meters everywhere. So these are just CT meters, basically. You've got them on, you know, the, t the total for the tenants. You've then got the outgoing sub mains for all of the tenants. You've got the same with landlords meter in, all the landlord sub mains as well. You've got panel level monitoring, and these are pretty cool. Like you can cycle through the lowest, the current, the maximum recorded. You've also got like voltage and stuff like that. Power factor, there's, there's a lot of information here but it's not, it's all current. So you can't obviously get a week's worth of data from this. And also it's just a very basic interface. There's also some discrepancies between this and this. So something slightly out, I'd probably put money on the Rayleigh. There, there is a little bit of a discrepancy. So that's why we wanna have a look at this but also that's why we wanna do some proper data logging in the future. This is a dead switch. I mean, it looks a bit dirty, but this is a dead switch because this is for a generator supply. So if you lost the supply to the building, you could connect a generator in there, uh, turn this off, remove the Castell key, put it in here, turn this on and supply the building from a generator. That Castell key is just that you cannot have both of those switches on at the same time. So that's pretty smart. But yeah, this isn't in use, so we're gonna ignore this. We're just focusing on this main incoming ACB today. I haven't looked into this too much. I've had a look at the um, the information. I think we're just on the um, yeah the quick view. But if we go down to measures here, you can see we've got current. Uh, we can go current here. So that's the the current we're pulling at the minute. We can then go back out. He says is he, if he presses the right button then we can go to max currents so this is like the max current ever recorded and there is like loads of information here you've got voltage power energy frequency harmonics um, all sorts of stuff harmonics are a really important thing at the minute with the way things are going um, it's, it's really interesting and that's why again we want to get a data logger here and just make sure we've got as much information as possible what i want to do though so that I can get this connectivity here, because you, you can get a lot of information from here, but I, I just love my phone, and the fact that I connect this, can connect this to you is really important. We want to go into the configuration settings. 15 minutes is fine, okay. We'll press escape, it's gonna ask me to save. Yeah, cool, done, we'll go back. So now Bluetooth is uh, on, and we can pop this back up to, uh, let's get out of here actually 
pop this back up to quick view and leave it on there. Right, so the next thing we want to do is download, or I've done it already, but you want to download the Power Device app from Schneider. Wait for this to fire up, and then we're going to click Connect Device. So this is like your device menu. You want to tap up here, and then it's going to tap that. Click on the image to scan QR code. So we're going to tap that, and then we want to just scan that QR code down there. And there we go, we've pulled it up. So we've got a master pack MTZ. We've got our serial number, we've got a commercial reference. And now we can connect to this device with Bluetooth. So I'm gonna tap connect there. It's not gonna do anything. I don't wanna review the app right now. What we wanna do first is press that. So that's gonna turn on Bluetooth. We can now tap this button there. There you can see it's pulled it up already. We wanna connect. And then it's gonna give us a pairing code. So. We've got 139919. 139919 pair. Cool, we're in. And there we go. So now we're on the overview page. So this is just like, well, it is what it says it is. It's an overview page. You can see here we've got L1, L2, L3. We've got the different amperages on each phase there. So L1's pulling 232 and then L2 and L3 are sitting around 170, 190. And then down here, we've got the circuit breaker health state. So this is gonna give you loads of information, control units, TCI battery, contact states, all sorts of information, opening and closing function state. You've also got um, the load profile over time and stuff like that, the load time hours. So you can see it's less than 50% for pretty much all of its lifespan. So that's pretty cool. Loads of information there at a glance. And then down here, you've got like logs. So you can see here, I've turned on the Bluetooth. What else? The circuit breaker was closed on the, on the 16th of October, going back to uh, 15th of the 10th, 2019, the circuit breaker was closed. Um, so you can literally see all sorts of previous information, previous things that have happened, so that's pretty cool. And that's pretty much it for the overview page. Here you've got the metering, so this is just super in-depth metering. We've got the phase one, phase two, phase three currents, the phase average neutral current, earth fault currents, so that's crazy. RMS voltages between phases and between neutral averages of that voltage averages of the frequency, power factor is at 0.99, so that's really, really good. You want it as close as one to put as possible. Power quality, so reactive apparent, power factor, power sign, uh, energy, reactive apparent. So yeah, loads of information here. There's even like total harmonic distortion and stuff like that. So loads and loads of information. It's really impressive that you can log in to that ACB and literally yeah, have all of this information at your fingertips. Here we've got the protection settings. So you can look at that. I think you can change them if it's configurable as well. The long time is 1600 amps and it will trip at 24 seconds. The short time will trip in 0.4 seconds. And that is at 16,000 amps, so 10 times IR. And then at 15 times IR, uh, 24,000 amps, it will, it will trip instantaneously. Here you've got the maintenance page, so service life, the breaker is at 99.8% of its service life. You've got contact wear as well, that's insane that they have like that monitoring. They have um, parts to be maintained and why, basic like, you know, maintenance support. And then this page, <laughs> when I initially went on this page, um, Previously, when I've been on this app before, I got real scared. You can do it via the app, which is a pretty insane. I don't know why you'd want to remotely do it, I suppose. Maybe if you're unsure about fault conditions, maybe. I don't actually know, but yeah, you can do that from here, which is, uh, which is pretty mad as well. And there's loads more use for this. I am literally a layman when it comes to this stuff, but if you know what you're doing, this is an insane tool for like fitters, switch gear servicemen. This is this is insane. It's really, really impressive. They're, they're on top of their game, if you ask me, Schneider. I'm always regularly impressed with their kit. I think it's really, really smart. And I love playing around with it. That's gonna be some great initial information, like I say. I'm gonna record as much data as I can from that and the Rayleigh as well. And then hopefully we're gonna come back, fit a proper data logger. Hopefully we get to turn it off. I still have to be fully arc flash PPE'd up, but hopefully we turn it off. If not, we will have to do it live as safely as possible. If we deem it's worth it, we're not too sure on that one. It's something we've got a way up really, but hopefully they just let us isolate anyway. That is how you connect your phone 
to an ACB. Bit of a short video, bit of a random video, but I thought it was cool. I thought it was interesting to mess around with and hopefully you guys have as well. If you've liked this video, please give it a like, drop a comment on what you think about this kit, whether you think it's cool, whether you think it's it's uh, overrated, I suppose, and I'll catch, I'll catch you guys on the